Okay, so I have a little bit of a follow-up from the video that I did yesterday with regards to the pricing, the new pricing, supposed pricing, that is, from a leak that was, well, posted and then removed from a German retailer, otto.de. And in that video, I kind of alluded to the fact that the NVIDIA RTX 5090 video card was $7,539 US and the RTX 5080 video card was $4,399. In fact, these prices are for the entire system. I'm going to dissect that in just a moment, of course. So uh, what system is this? Well, supposedly it's the Acer Predator Orion 7000 models and i guess there was two pcs listed one with the nvidia rtx 5090 in it and the other one with the rtx 5080 in it so let's just uh dissect exactly what is going on all right so this is for the entire computer system and if you think it's a deal at $7,539 for a high-end gaming computer system with an NVIDIA RTX 5090 in it, you are rich. You're the 1% that can go out and buy that, and you're very fortunate. You are very, very lucky to be able to do that. The majority of people, especially in this economy, can't even dream about that. And I'm in here in Canada, so a system that is $7,539 in the States is close on twelve grand here. No joke. It's that expensive. You can ask anyone or anyone that's Canadian can speak up and say, yep, that's actually the case. It's still a lot of money. But let's take $2,000 off of $7,539. So we got $5,539 which would be for the NVIDIA RTX 5090. Maybe the system components are, you know, maybe it's $2,500. I don't know. But you're looking between four dollars and $5,000. That's my guess based upon the cost of this particular leak or whatever happened here and it was posted and then it was pulled. But when this goes live, actually, like when they post it, Will it be more expensive than this? Like, will it be more expensive than $7,539? Or will it be less expensive? I don't know. Are these, you know, figures correct? Uh, who knows? You know, it's, it's just all speculation. I didn't see the post myself personally. I'm just going by what is on this site. Now, even if this is for the entire system, isn't there something completely off with this? Paying over $7,000, close on $8,000 for a gaming PC? In what world is this happening? It's in this, this world. In this world, it's happening. So it's a bit nuts, I have to say. And I think I think a lot of people are going to be really, really shocked. I hope I'm wrong on this. How expensive the NVIDIA RTX 5090 video card will be. Now, I am very excited for this video card, to be honest. I have a 4090 right now. It plays everything that I throw at it on usually epic settings at 1440p. And if this video card is four times faster than the 4090, maybe, maybe I would, or you know, maybe you feel the same way, maybe you would. But otherwise, why, why? No. no you know, and how much faster will the 50? 80B over the 4090. Probably not much. So, hmm, NVIDIA, I don't know. You're doing very well, but you might want to um, rethink things. And, you know, I, I would have hoped for considering how much the 5090 will be, and like I said, it probably will be between 4,000 plus US dollars it could have came with more than 32 gigabytes of VRAM, to be honest. But those are my thoughts on it. Um, let me know what you think about this, this you know, pricing scheme and 
how expensive, well, actually how expensive everything has become, but certainly top tier products like this. I mean, back in the day, if you spent $500 or $700 for a video card, oh man, did you get a video card? But that was then, and this is now. And um, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to 2024, and we're soon going to be launched into 2025, and uh, yeah, God help us all. And I'm going to remind you again, and don't do this very often, and I hate doing it, but remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment because, well, it helps.